area look how crazy this is this is what it looks like always and uh yeah going to the next shop i finally arrived to the epicenter of osaka kansai area with the collectibles cards everything is here um, as you can see how lit up it is so yeah, we'll go to a few shops and see what we can find today and add anything to our collection all right, so this is the street that usually at night, it's all, all lit up, so it's really cool at night. But um, right now during the day, there's gonna be a lot of shops on this street. Um, yeah, it's, it's also the Den Den Town, which is like the dinky, like electric, electric town, I guess. You can look that up on Google or anything. And you can see a lot of like really cool collectible stuff that they sell here, trading cards, everything. Uh, so I definitely recommend on this side as well. Uh, you can see there's some, Super Potato Retro Games and Sudugaya. But anyways, yeah, this is a really tourist area. You can I think I'm gonna speed run through all these shops because there's just so many shops that I have to hit. So we'll see and uh, go through it. Shops so far, that 
that's probably the best one. That was uh, called Plays. Card Game Shop Plays. That's a cool show. And, uh, now let's go through and find some other shops. They got all the car shops here. There's just so many. Um, I probably won't be able to hit them all up in one day in one video, but I'm going to try to show you guys as much as I can to, you know, show a realistic view of car prices and things that you could possibly get while shopping in Japan. There's some train cars up here. I'll be sure. You never know what you can do. Let's check it out. It's a cool shop. They got so many one piece dual masters, Pokemon cars, everything. Oh, that's why I got it. They're playing a tournament in there as well, so it's kind of cool. Alright, they got a bunch of charts right here. I found a few EX ones for when they're getting over there, so I might grab them. But I don't want some, some vintage stuff if they have any. Alright, so as we go down, there's a lot of um, shops right here. Trading card vending machine in place. Um, and then let's go over here. We got some Dragon Star card shop. See what they have in there. And they got so many of the same toys. Not all very famous. All toys. Some premium stuff in here. Let's see. Yeah, the dark trousers are very expensive. Probably really good condition. Well, Hobby Station is actually one of my favorite stores to go in any other mall, but I don't know if they have anything. Uh, Alright, so I just walked in really quick. That was pretty weird. There's actually no Pokemon in there. Oh, I've never seen that happen ever. Uh, for a store not to have any Pokemon but you know you never know some of these shops oh wow this is an outlet Sugaya so they might have some cool stuff in there that I want to pick out we'll see yeah there's just it's a bit too overwhelming to be honest is my is my personal opinion like every one of these is a card shop so yeah it's just too much yeah, literally, you get so disoriented on the street because I thought I was over coming from this side all the way over here, but it's actually the opposite of that side coming over here. And when I came out, I was like so confused. But anyways, it's so massive. So many shops. Um, definitely recommend it if you have a lot of time, but obviously if you have family or kids or anything, um, definitely don't have the time to go through all these shops because there's just so many, so many shops and everything. 
Um, but yeah, obviously, if you have time, then it's totally fine. Got a lot of A, a R cards. For some ooh, Pokemon Lunar really Fun cards here. Um, basically, looking for any vintage stuff. Ooh, here's some vintage stuff. Wow, very expensive. But, well, wow, 100 yen GX cards, that's kind of cool. Um, if there's anything that I like, I might pick it up. But yeah, that's cool. Yeah, I love Yulugi as well. That's one of my main cards that I collect. To collect. Um, it looks like there's some like semi older cards, but nothing like vintage, like the old back cards. Um, it's still really cool to see, but yeah, nothing crazy or anything. Oh, here's all the vintage stuff. Yes, I love seeing vintage stuff. 100 yen for all these cards. That's not too bad. 850. That. Um, let's see if there's any cool vintage. Oh, here's the bricks. The lucky dick bricks. Yeah, all 100 yen for this. I really talk about this a lot in my videos, but basically if you want to have cards and find cards that are really good price and really rare or, you know, very interesting cards when it comes to Pokemon or anything, um, you definitely have to go out of the town or the city in order to find that kind of stuff because um, if you are in, if you're trying to buy stuff here, you're obviously going to be going through places that everyone's going to be coming to, you know, like you got to put in a bit of effort to try to find stores that not many people would go to which is outside of the city or outside of the town so i definitely recommend that but it's still really interesting you know if you're if you got a hotel or airbnb in town in osaka this is like still really interesting to see you know um i might just walk this way and that's just one of those things that i always recommend this is going to be the last shop that i'm going to go to it's called mandarake grand Six things a year for vintage pieces, it's not too bad. Yeah. 
Awesome Neon Genesis Comics, 600 yen, Togi Kiss. This is probably my favorite era of cards. There's anything cool to here, so that's cute. Right? Yeah. yeah, I would not pay more than a hundred yen for any of these cards. Oh, that's a cool gold duck card, two hundred yen. Yeah, some cool cards. Anyways, this is going to be a video um, about going all to these stores in Osaka. So um, if it does seem a bit quick, I do apologize because I do have to go to all these shops and show you guys as much as I can within a short period of time within a video. I really appreciate it if you like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. This proves to you that Japan crime is super low and people aren't inclined to pursue criminal activity like stealing because you can see this person's been away for like 30 minutes gone to the restroom or something and no one oh there the, the person just came back yeah no one grabbed their phone or stole or anything so i just